Hi again, I just wanted to add a quick note about uh, market efficiency and to go into, um, make a couple of observations about market efficiency. We, we know that a market at equilibrium without any intervention is said to be allocatively efficient. Allocatively efficient. And in the question D, and I'll just point to just point to question, sorry, B, we're asked to explain the effect on efficiency. And I just want to go back and, and take a quick look at the impact on efficiency. So if we say if we say when a market's efficient, the the surpluses are maximized. That's the producer surplus and the consumer surplus. So in our example, we had a, a consumer surplus of CS was equal to, uh, just looking at the red, the, this red triangle here, uh, was uh, 10 times 500 divided by 2. That was just using triangle theory. It was two and a half thousand, thousand, two and a half million. And without going into greater detail, because we've done that in a previous video, the producer surplus was also the same. So the producer surplus was the green triangle, and that too was two and a half million. So total surpluses equated to five million dollars. So that was total surplus. Now remember the theory says that, that, that a market in equilibrium is where surplus is maximised. Let's just take a look at what happens to the red meat market when we introduce the tax or when the government introduces the tax. We decided that the, the new consumer surplus was equal to the small red triangle here which was the gap between $17 and $24, so it was 7 and it was the base which was up to 350 so 7 times 350 over 2, which equaled 12.25, and the new producer surplus was the gap between 11 and 4, so that was the same, that was the same size triangle, so that equaled also 12.25. And then some of the surplus, some of the previous surplus has obviously gone off to the government and, the, and that goes in the form of tax. So I think the tax was 2,100,000. So that total was 10, 5, 5, 4. So you can see, so that's the total surplus after the tax. So you can see, if you look back, we just calculated a total surplus without any tax of 5 million, and now we have a total surplus of, uh, with the tax, of 4,550,000. So the differences, let me just put in now, 5 million. So we've got um, 5, 5 and 5 is 10, 6 and, how have I done that? Now 4, isn't it? Is that right? 4, 450,000 is the difference between, um, my maths is not great, obviously. Four hundred and fifty thousand is the is the loss of surplus to the market. Now we should also be able to confirm that by looking at the pink triangle. Now the pink triangle has a whatever way you look at it, it has a base of, if I use this as the base, this area here is the base, 
So that's the distance of 6. So it's got 6 times, and the height is this distance here from 350 through the original position of 5, so that's 150, divided by 2. So 6, 6 150s is uh, 6 15s, and 90 divided by 2, which is 45, which of course is 450. And we use the correct numbers. So that therefore uh, equates to the triangle, the pink triangle, which is the dead weight loss. And that, of course, is the loss of efficiency. And that explains why, as a result of a tax, this market is less efficient.